as smooth and thorough. And uh, I, I now realise it's a funk and soul weekender on the 9th and 10th of August. It's not just smooth and thorough. There's Malavita, Wax the Van, uh, Through the Grapevine DJs, and a barbecue. Friday from 6 p.m. and Saturday from 2 here at the, the Phoenix in Exeter. Uh, so, what's on the, on the other side? So that's, oh, and there's, there's, there's big screen in the park as well. Similar sort of time. But that's on the other side of the piece of paper. <laughs> JD. Good morning, sir. What do you think about pieces of paper? Pieces of paper. I think they're pieces of paper. There's more pieces of paper. And pieces of paper. There you go. Do you think social media will ever replace the piece of paper? Uh, no, my brain needs pieces of paper. It does. <laughs> needs a piece of paper yes. at least a day. Yes. Well, I I I have to agree with you. Yes. Well, I know your your calendar is a piece of paper. Yes. I I, <laughs> I redo it every so often. I cannot I cannot think about the next ten days in any other way. Really? No. I, well, well, I know, I know what's happening next week. You do? But, yes, I do. But I have to get last week out, out of the way first before I can <laughs> even think about next week. It's very difficult, isn't it? Oh, I know. It is very difficult, and it's sometimes confusing. Yes, I think so. Um, the, 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 the social media, mm -hmm. phon Phonic is definitely getting into it. I haven't, I haven't seen any results, mm -hmm. any analysis as to what happened. Was it in June? I think there was a promotion in June. But the, the, does, does, do numbers matter very much? That's the other burning question. Do you analyse the, the impact of um, some of your social media by adventures numbers. By, by numbers? Or right. is it more a qualitative? qualitative um, why, why, why do I need to look at it with numbers? That's, that's the interesting thing. Well, some people I do. I do it by words. You do, yes, the words. Yes, by words and, and uh, information that way. So if Phonic believed they gave away loads of free tickets during yes. June to other co co cooperating organisations yep. and as a, as a cause of that they were liked several times mm -hmm. on various pages mm -hmm. how would you assess the impact of that? On the amount or? Well that's the question you see I mean the, mm. some people would say well well, we you know Phonic gave away 73 tickets they mm -hmm. had 900 likes mm -hmm. and now it's a much better situation because mm. of those numbers. Yeah. But have, have we had any sort of feedback, or do you know of any... I mean, how would you assess it? So are you collecting, sort of you're collecting information on how people listen to the station? We've, we've no idea how people listen to the station. <laughs> no. I, don't, I don't think. I don't think no. we do. I the think volume that would, cost, of people. that would cost us thousands of pounds... Really? ...to discover. Really? I think so. that's what I've heard. Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, we can just get a, a nice message sometimes on, on our Facebook page and we think, well, that's all right. Mm. Well, that's good enough. So we'll, we'll, good, we'll good set, feed up. It doesn't make so any difference if there's half a person or 45 million of them listening. It's, if somebody responds to your programme, then you know somebody's listening. So that's, uh, that's OK. Yes. So when we put... When we put uh, if, you, if you go to uh, our... our, our Page or, or even on Facebook, and uh, you see a film of us being absolutely silly in here, and we get you know four or five views. Right. That means that somebody knows that we're in the studio doing this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which maybe not. We, we would probably carry on anyway. Yes, I think so. Yeah. I, it, <laughs> it, it, promote, it promotes Thursday morning. It does. Hmm. Yeah. So we know we know it's Thursday. <laughs> but but go, going back a bit, you see that the it seems to me. It's not just Phonic that's getting into social media. Like the the extra fringe festival, mm -hmm. we've now got their their what would you call this? Their guide. Mm, yeah, you you keep looking at yeah. Look, no, look, look at the look, guide. Look, looking at that. Yes, it's a but up up till then, I would I haven't seen many posters as such. A few. A few. No, I wouldn't know this was on actually. You would you do? Uh, I would know this this was on in, in Exeter, and I'm not even on social media. So it hasn't reached you through social media. Yet. No, well, it has. There is a website. Yeah, but it's n very complicated. Oh, you know, I prefer to look at the old uh, piece of paper as we're oh. talking about oh, the piece okay. of paper. <laughs> right. Yes, to right. me it was it's simpler and well set up that I can understand it. So you like you like the ca the catalogue is good. Yes, with the, with the pickies. Yes. <laughs> 
yes, that, that makes it much easier for me to find. I went, I've been onto the website, yeah, and I didn't understand it at all. Oh, hmm. You didn't understand it. No, I didn't understand how there was how they set it out and how you find things quickly. Well, what you see, what 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 is what is that? There's there's see, I don't understand why it's called a fringe, a festival because there is, it's not really at the same time as another festival, not right. next to anyway. What is the word fringe? What is is the, apart uh, from your your front <laughs> your front of your your hairdo? Um, <laughs> Well, I think I think it's got to do. I think this is just a style of theatre which has become known as fringe theatre. Right, it's and, a bit of and everything. This is some of it. I looked at this it's and it looks like a bit of everything. Well, well yes. So there's there's family theatre. Mm. Yeah. There's comedy. Yep. There's music. Yep. There's standard fringe theatre, which we don't really know what it is. Mm. But we we like the printed. The, cat, the printed catalogue is getting quite scarce, by the way. It is, yes. I know it, it costs usually, a lot of money, but if they produce this online, exactly how it is, yeah. they wouldn't need to spend money on... Uh, I think there's a PDF file. I think oh, you can it? download oh, a PDF is there? file. I didn't find that. No, I perhaps that, the, should be, that should be more obvious. Uh, yes, it should be. You know, I look at, I look at um, their website, which is www.exfringe.co.uk, as it says on the front of my yes. my book. Yes, you see, I thought Xfringe, was, mm. or, or hash Xfringe for, for right. Twitterers, was enough. So if you look at that and you, you look at it, it's not like... The book. If they did the like the book, you could follow that. I could follow that. I don't need a math A level, no, <laughs> or a degree in how to live, <laughs> no, no. Well, if there are people listening who who yeah. totally understand social media and think that we we've rather lost it here with our, we well, are old timers. We are old timers. <laughs> we're not against social media, but we no. like we like no. the pieces of paper in the mix. No, well, that's our claim. Yes, but I, I think time. at least have, you know, some photographs on your website which, you know, shows us where I am. Because <laughs> I could be anywhere. 